Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rosquit. Uh, today we're going to return to one of my original videos almost over four, actually this one is probably over four years ago. Uh, this was before I learned how to record videos and I just was doing streams not understanding how to do anything. Uh, but I've returned, decided to return to Bastion and started start it over because it's been four years since I played this. Uh, but this is a very beautiful um, artistic game by Supergiant Games, a g company that I've enjoyed the games I've played. I've played this and I've played a little bit of Transistor. I haven't beaten either, but I'd like to get into it. But I'm going to start in order of their games that they made, started, which would be this, and then I'll end up going to Transistor later. But uh, this is one of the most beautiful games ever created, and it has an amazing soundtrack. So we're going to jump in, we're no sweat mode, start a new game with unlimited chances to carry on if defeated. Uh, no, we're going to do normal mode. But uh, I just, are you sure you want to start a new game, your existing game? Yeah, go ahead and start a new game. Uh, it's just gorgeous, it has a great soundtrack, it's actually been dubbed one of the best soundtracks of the last decade for video games. Well, has it been a decade now? Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. It's just amazing how they did this game. Let's see, yeah, I Ground don't think forms I... up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Oh, it's so pretty. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the room. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. You kind of just have to like wonder, like, what caused all this? That a survivor? No, nope. ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Ow. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. I wonder, would he have said that if he uh, if I hadn't been hit? Because the the soundtrack and the narration is based off of what you do, which is also something incredible. It's not just like set with what they say. Let me just break some stuff, see if there's anything in any of these. Kid just rages for a while. Yeah, like, he wouldn't have said that if I just moved. Alright. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Oh, looks like we're going this way. Is there something this way? No. It's been a while since. quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Oh, then you can refill. Okay. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Okay. That wasn't too bad. But it's just the art style with this. It's just so amazing. When entered, press triangle to use a potion or a water bottle, I guess, to heal. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Okay. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. My shield! The security takes him for a petty thief. Okay. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags 
start turning up for last call. Okay. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Ooh, ow. And then windbags are playing for keeps. Okay, got him. out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Oh, there's something... No? This is... I've... The narration is just amazing in this game, so we want to go this way. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. <laughs> Wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. What was it? He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Having a little bit of a controller issue. If you've watched some of my other games, I've been having an issue with. Stop. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. And I can just hold down the shield button and then. The good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Yeah, as soon as an enemy disappears, I can't... Love the style of this game. And it makes it easy because it automatically targets an enemy as well, too. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Stop. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Stop. Stop. Let's see. Plus ten health. Hmm. Active only when at full health. Interesting. Uh... I'm gonna do um, Dread Rum. Dread Rum? Really? I see, and then you can... Can I switch it? Oh, nice. Okay, so I can come... If something goes wrong, I can come back and switch it. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Cannot move while firing. Oh, I like... That's the thing, though. I don't... I like being able to move, so I actually like this setup.
I'll swing. They can hit some of them squirts, birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. So it is spawning with this. Whoops. He falls to his death. I'm just fooling. That was also the controller again, because I just spun and it was like, cool, and then I spun right off. Ooh, okay. Hold on. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Ow. Is he actually breaking the environment? Got him. Put some out of his misery. What do these do? Is this like currency or something? Or I think it is actually. Nothing that way. Places starting to fall. I want that. Can you go that way? <clears throat> See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. It just keeps running. Want that? Probably shouldn't, but I'm still grabbing money. Still getting more experience. Doing okay, doing okay. At last, the skyway's in sight. Alright. We 
twists him where it needs oh. to go. Fragments of the old world, usable at the bastion. All right. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Stop. Did I'm anybody not... else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. <clears throat> he finds me. We talk for a spell. The stranger, the city crest. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. I found the wharf All district. I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Alright. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Hmm. Kid ponders what to build. Let's do Arsenal first. Mirror shield available. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Stop. Thank you. No, so I like that setup. Ah, I see. <clears throat> that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. That's helpful. Secret technique that automatically counter blocks all oncoming attacks for a short time. In the bullhead court. Oh, okay, so black tonic. Okay. Well, let's try this one out. Alright. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Okay, so I can't do these yet. I must need some sort of crystals or something. Oh yeah, no weapons here. Okay, looks like more stuff unlocks over here later. But, uh... Whoa, Jesus. Uh, that is... I'm not... I'm fighting with my controller right now. With, like, all the quick little up, up motions. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Rosquit. Uh, this was the beginning of Bastion, which I have done, which I did over four years ago, but I never really continued it. Uh, so let me know what you think about this. I am really consider playing this, considering playing this game because it is so beautiful. And uh, I hope to see you all in the next episode. So see you later, everyone.